What is going on guys, it's Wava here, and welcome back to some more Blightfall. Now, last time we left off, we were mining around a bit, quite a bit actually, to try and find some bitumen, because we're going to need some bitumen to make some rubber, along with some other things, and a lot of you guys commented down below, I completely forgot about these books, but uh, saying that I could get this book right here, the Mining and Resource Collection book, basically tells you where, and like, what locations, and what heights, and all that type of stuff, where you can find certain things. As you can see right here, stone is found all over the place let's just find another one oh prometheum we could find it in these locations found under the plains ice plains savanna and grassland occurs between 20 and 50 uh, on the y-axis so you know this this book definitely helps out quite a bit but whenever we scroll through here uh oh never mind there's my two right there <laughs> <laughs> but uh my two for some reason was unlocked or it was locked saying i had to had to like get some dark wood or something and I was worried why it was locked because that tree over there is a dark wood tree and I was kind of wondering hey well we already have a dark wood tree why is that bitumen thing still locked I don't know but it seems like whenever I'm recording the episode it seems like it's going to show me that I can indeed find it here in the swamp area I think I mentioned that I could find this this bitumen here in the swamps and apparently it occurs between heights 13 and 128 so that is really good i guess what i'm going to do now is go over here to the swampy area you know go mine a bit see if i can find some by two off camera real quick because we did a lot of mining last episode so i don't really want to like you know spend another episode of me mining for stuff so uh, thank you guys all very much for commenting down below about this book completely forgot about it it's been like well over 100 episodes since I used this book, so, you know, can't really blame me for forgetting about this book. Anyways, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll go to that general area. Anyways, I did do some, uh, some detectifying since last episode, so I might as well go back to the Jaded, scan our area, see how our progress is doing. Let me just go to the, oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> Let me just go to the big map and show you guys, but, uh, that island is completely clean right now, and I've got the ship over here cleaning up the, uh, the what is it, whatever it's called the volcano area <laughs> so that's kind of cool so we should have this island completely cleaned uh, i don't think we're going to get any new metals because we have the floating island cleaned we have this cleaned and the only metal that we're missing is the gold metal and we get that after we get the uh the third and final floating island cleaned so uh once we get this one cleaned then we'll get that metal but for right now i kind of want to just go over here and you know check out the progress see if there's any better progress done so let's go find yeah let this thing scan and I guess I'll oh wait it's right there at the top so we should see that thing completely cleaned and taint free so yeah look at that and even a little bit of a square over there with the volcano yeah that's real nice anyways uh yeah hmm seems like a couple places there where there's like underground seems like those are like problem areas for like taint and stuff so i might need to put the ship like right there maybe up here and up here but other than that i think this place is completely cleaned don't need to wait for the continue scanning since i didn't really like do any more progress for over here so let's just go back and like i said go to pause our corner real quick do a little bit of a mining adventure on my own in the swampy area i did i did mention that i read up that you could find by in the swampy area so I guess I was kind of right on that front, but uh, looks like I'm going to have to go into this dark looking area here. So go to pause the recording real quick, go do some mining, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. And we can continue our, uh, or whatever we were doing over here. So I'll see you guys here in a Oh yeah, I'm making that drill. So I'll see you guys here in a second. Ba-boom, ba-boom, hey da, we found ourselves some bitum, and oh man, it feels great. And we can mine it with our silk touch pick, which is great. Anyways, let's grab this. There you go. I didn't even go that far from the house. Let me just show you guys where I am right now. So I'm like right here. I entered through this hole right here, which I don't know if you guys knew that hole was there, but there was a ravine that kind of goes underground right here. And I used this hole to go down into the ravine and clean it up with some ethereal blooms. Like, I don't know how many episodes ago, a long time ago. But uh, I'm like right here. Like, look at this. We found some, uh, like right here. I, it's only been like two minutes since I paused the recording. And I already found some bitumen, so it feels great. Uh, some of you guys might have thought that I found some bitumen last episode, but uh, I am really like 99% sure that we did not see any bitumen last episode because this this bitumen ore, as you can see, it is it's a pretty unique little pattern right there. You can clearly see that it's like not coal, and I, I really don't think we saw any last episode. We might have in the corner of my eye or something, but I don't really think I saw any. Right? What is this? Salt, <gasps> salt, Peter. 
this is what we need. We need this too. Okay, let's grab this. Let's grab some of that salt, Peter. Hey, duh. And uh, we need to send this into a geologist. Man, I was kind of wondering. Oh my God, there's an abandoned mine down here. And a little bat fellow. Hey there, little bat fellow. How you doing? Anyways, uh, abandoned mine with a, pff, a mine cart like right there. <laughs> that, that's a little bit of loot inside of it. I think I think I got a comment saying, hey, why'd you say there's a mine cart in a chest when it's just a chest in a mine cart? I don't know. My brain's kind of wacky like that, so eh, I might get things mixed up. Anyways, let's go over here. Uh, I don't think we're going to find any more bitumen over there. It's probably going to be a lot better or a, a lot more likely to find more bitumen in that ravine since it's nice and open and big like this. Especially because I need to light it up. I didn't see that over there. That uh, that by two when I just mined. I didn't see that over the old oh, skeleton. I didn't see that till we lit it up. So there might be some more by two around here that I can get. But uh, we have enough right now to go throw into the pulverizer. I think get ourselves a decent amount of rubber and oh, more saltpeter right there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but uh, I think we have enough to go throw it into the pulverizer. Get ourselves rubber and you know work on making that uh, that laser thing. So. That's coal down there. That's clearly coal. Hashtag clearly coal. But yeah, I don't think there's any more bitumen down here. And if we do need more bitumen, hey there, Enderman fellow. Potash or trash. Potash more like potrash. Hey there, Enderman. Hey there. Oh, Enderpearl. Nice. Oh, I'm glad I killed that Enderman. Uh, yeah, like I said, don't think there's any more down here. So let's just head to the entrance and kind of look around a bit while we're still here. And see if there's any we might have missed. Yeah, it's coal right there. Yeah, more coal right there. This is a ravine, a ravine that goes into a ravine, so... Yeah, I don't think there's any more. Okay. Well, let's just head up. I think it's like, uh... Where is it? Where's the entrance of this? Where's this? Is this it? Oh, here we go. Alright, well, let's dig up. Or oh, we don't have to dig up. There's already a hole. Let's just fly up. And let's... Blink a Rooney all the way over. Oh wow, we got all the way over here. Jeez, let's go throw this into the ball riser. See how much uh, by by two and we're going to get. And yeah, uh, how much we get? We got ten by two and ore. That should get us uh, twenty by two in itself, I think. So yeah, there you go. You get two per each or two per thing. And you get eight it gives you one piece of plastic, I think. So we should be able to get two pieces of plastic. We need. We already have two pieces of plastic, I think. Yeah, we have two pieces of plastic right there. You're going to need two more pieces of plastic, I think. And I don't know if you need anything else. We already have the drill, right? Did we make the drill? Or did we not? Yeah, we didn't make the drill yet. Ooh. Ooh. How do you make that drill? Drill. It's the laser drill. Oh, whoa. And drill from Bibliocraft. Huh, interesting. Here's a laser drill. Oh, yeah, we just needed uh, plastic sheets. Okay, yeah, we should be able to make it right now. No problem, right? What else are we missing? Just a little bit of glowstone. Glowstone. Yeah, we just need to get this glowstone. Make it in our inventory. Make some glowstone. Black ruse, like so. And the last piece of uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> we should have here in a second. So there you go. 18, blah, blah, blah. Let's go craft it over. Yeah. And there you go. Oh, that's rubber. Ooh, I forgot there's like a whole process. I think we need to smelt this. Right? Smelt it. Yeah, that gives you a rubber bar. And then smelt it again. That gives you raw plastic. And how do you get plastic? How do, how do you get, like, plastic things out of it, though? Ooh, and then four of those. Yeah, this is complicated as heck. <laughs> okay, well, let's smelt this. Can we make, uh, bitumen? What else can we make here? Yeah, that gives us tar. What can we use tar for? Can... Leather. Syringe. Hmm. For the embiggering syringe, I guess. Uh, safari net. Ooh. That's for a single-use safari net, though. And that's pretty much it. Okay, well, it's kind of interesting, I suppose. Is that smelting? Oh, I guess it did smelt. <laughs> Anyways, there's a rubber bar that should get us a... I think we need to pulverize that, right? Got it. Put it in that crafting table. <laughs> I think we pulverize it, or do we cook it again, or... Yeah, we do cook it again. Jeez. Yeah, I think we're going to need to get some more by Doom, and so I might have to pause the recording again here in a second. I wanted to update you guys, but uh, our Emmy terminal over here has a little bit more room. I don't know if it's still back here. Nope. But I got all the extra cobblestone and stuff, and just kind of threw that out. You might have seen I had Emmy Drive down here selected. I was thinking about getting a, another Emmy Drive. I think we can afford it. No problem, but it's going to be kind of tedious to make. I also got some comments saying, hey, you should upgrade to the 64. Uh, K thing, but that's not going to, really, going to really help out a bit because the thing that we're 
like running out of room on is the types. You can see we have 62 out of 63, 62, 63, 63, 63, 61, 60, 63, 63, 63. See, those are all full on the types. So getting a 64 thing would only add more bytes, but wouldn't add any more types. So to get more types, we need to get another ME drive. So that's why I was looking that up. And there you go, raw plastic. Yeah, we only have half. So I don't think we can, uh, I don't think we can make like one piece of plastic from one thing. I think we have to get, yeah, we have to get four before we can make four. Ooh, that's real stupid though, right? Okay, well, that shouldn't be too hard. We found some bitumen pretty easily, or pretty early on, so... Go to pause the recording real quick. Actually, I wonder... If I can get a fortune pick... Break the bitumen... And get more bitumen nuggets... Than if I got the silk touch... And threw it into a pulverizer and got two out of that. Hmm, I wonder... What gives you fortune? Is it lapis? I think it is lapis, right? How much lapis do we have? Might be able to make it... Yeah, we should be able to make another, uh... Another pick here. Maybe not out of Elementium. Uh, what was the other one called? Oh man, what's this called? What's this called before we threw it into the portal? Oh man, oh, Mana Steel. I think I have a, yeah, I have a Mana Steel pick. I might be able to make this into a, uh, Fortune Mana Steel pick, so. Let's get ourselves some Lapis. And we might be able to see if, yeah, there you go. Uh, Lapis gives it luck. Yes, perfect. So there you go. Wait, luck? What is that? Fortune? I, I guess it's the same thing, right? Okay, well, let's just do this. Give it a bunch of, uh, lapis lazuli. We're pretty much not using lapis for, like, anything, so... I can only assume that... This would be a really good use for... Oh, pumpkin seeds. It's not going to do anything, is it? Yeah, look at that. Uh, it has just a little bit of luck. Yeah, we have to give it a lot of lapis. 450, it looks like, so... Whew. I don't think we have quite enough, but I should give it a pretty good amount of luck, so go to Bowser recording real quick, go get some more Bitumen, and we can go Mythbust whether or not the Lapis Lazuli Elementium pick, or uh, Mana Steel pick, is able to get more Bitumen than the Pulverizer, so I'll see you guys here in a bit once I get some more Bitumen. Alright guys, I'm back. I just got done adding all of my Lapis Lazuli to my Mana Steel pick. It's up to Fortune 2. It's uh, 314 out of 450 on the Lapis. So, I, I guess that maxes it out if it goes to 450, but it has Fortune 2 right now, which is actually pretty good. Uh, I did find some more Bitumen. I found I, I went up to 25. I also got some more saltpeter. I even uh, silk touched a water infused stone just to see like what it would. Oh, sal huh? Two percent chance of giving me salus mundus. That's actually not bad. With how much we see the uh, like different water infused or like anything infused stone, that two percent chance of getting salus mundus is actually pretty good. Maybe I should silk touch all the infused stone I see. Okay, maybe I'll do that uh, whenever I go mining off camera and stuff here in the future. Anyways, I also found some more lapis down there. Silk touched it, threw it into pulverizer. I also had some uh, some lapis, like uh, silk already silk touched lapis. I think I might have got last episode and threw that inside the pulverizer as well. You get nine lapis per. Uh, if we look this up, lapis. Uh, there it is right there. You get nine lapis per or not nine lapis nuggets per thing if you throw it inside a pulverizer. Like that's really really good. <laughs> So, can't complain about that. So we have luck two, or fortune two on this. So we get two things per bitumen ore if we threw it, uh, throw it into a pulverizer. How much are we going to get from this? That looks like three to me. How much do we have now? We have five in our inventory right now. Five minus, we got four. We got four, we got four bitumen right there, you guys. We're up to nine right now. That looks like one. Yeah, we got one right there. Okay, so it doesn't work every time. It gives you a pretty good amount of XP too. They give us two right there. Okay, okay. So he gave us four, one, two. Which I guess kind of rounds out to about two-ish in the end, you know? So uh, I think it might be worth it to, to keep using this fortune pick, even though it's not completely full. That looks like he gave me multiple. That looks like he gave me three. That looks like he had two or three. That looks like one. That looks like maybe two or one. That looks like one. That looks like two. I don't know. I think we're at like, uh, what, 12? So if we pick all these up, up 32, not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. So we had 25. We had five to begin with. If we have if we have more than 55, then this would be worth it. So let's just mine all of these and place down the last one. Mine them all with a fortune pick. If it's more than 55, then I guess it's good. Oh yeah, we need to break the saltpeter too. So break the saltpeter and send that into the geologist. So let's see if we have more than 50, we have 64. We have 64. 
<laughs> That's definitely worth it. Hate uh. Okay, let's get the raw plastic. Do this. There we go. And this is pretty much the only use for about two minutes anyways. So maybe we're getting eight raw rubber from that. Not bad. And while that's smelting, let's get the salt, Peter. Let's see. How much do you get in uh pulverizer gives you four? So pulverizer gives you four. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six chances here of getting more than four. So if we have any less than 24, then using the silk touch would not be good. Oh man, we got like 13 right there. That's bad. Okay, yeah, let's use the pulverizer. That's a guaranteed four each. If we only got like almost, was it? Is that 13 or 18? Yeah, that's 13. Yeah, that's 13. It's kind of hard to tell when the thing is white like that. Anyways, uh, this should be done. Yep, eight rubber smelted. Let's throw it back inside of there. Let that turn into a raw plastic. And oh wait, no, 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 I guess it's niter. No, that gives us niter. I guess we can use that, right? Uh, I don't know, but uh, it doesn't give us a uh, soul peter. Usages? Yeah, it gives us niter. Niter. Yeah, nothing. Nothing gives us a uh, salt peter like we need. So I guess using the fortune pick, getting. How much do you get with a regular one, though? It looks like one. It looks like one. Okay, so we broke six and got 13. I guess the fortune pick did do its magic here. Not bad. Okay, so... Oh, wow. I got, like, three from that one right there, if you guys saw that. That was actually pretty good. Let's go back to the geologist. Let's go send that into a geologist. And rare materials. Yes, Salt Peter. Yes, we got this one. This was 100%. 16 mission outlook on that one. Yes. So all we need to do now is to discover Alt Altaris. Find some Mutotite, which we might be able to... <laughs> we have a book. Might as well find out where we can find that. Probably on that island down here, right? That's the only place I remember finding Endstone. Uh, and yeah, Endstone right there is only on that island. So Mutotite is probably going to be... Uh, where are we going to find? Is this an ABC order? I don't think it is, right? Yeah, here's my tumen. There's lapis, magnesium, phosphorus, sulfur, saltpeter. Yeah, we just found saltpeter there. Aluminium, potash. Silver to gold, manganese, redstone, lead, nickel, medassium, limerite, mm, diamonds, mineral, or whatever that was. <laughs> Emeralds, ardite, cinnamon. Come on, where is the... Here it is right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mutatite and eximite are both there. Occurs between 5 and 80. Can be mined by a level 5 pick super diamond on the Erie Island. Okay, so can be made into ender pearls. So I guess we can go mining there off camera, of course, and find that last one. And other than that, we just need to find some shale, which we'd probably find in the, in like underwater, maybe? Dolomite and lignite. Ooh, do we still not have lignite? Lignite. Yeah, we still don't have lignite. Okay. Well, here's a raw plastic. Should be able to make ourselves a pretty good amount of plastic. So there you go. We have eight plastic sheets and we should be able to make the drill. There we go, and next up we need to make the embiggering syringe, so we have the drill now. We also need to make the embiggering syringe, which we use to make these pink slimes bigger, which we need those to be bigger so we can get more pink slime, which we need to make the precharger for the drill, so this is going to be kind of tough. Let's see, how do you make the uh, embiggering? There you go. Wait, what? A limp oh, I was about to say, is there really something else that is called an embiggering thing? <laughs> And always make an empty syringe. Uh, ooh, rubber bar. Oh, I should have kept some rubber bars. Ooh, yeah, that's the only thing I'm missing. Ooh, I'm going to have to go mining again, so... Anyways, I think I'm going to have to go pause the recording, go mining a little bit, and I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit, and we can make this uh, embiggering syringe. Swallow down one of those pink slimes, kill it. And maybe... Because whenever you kill a pink slime, I think, uh, it splits off into smaller slimes. And the reason why is because we... The reason why we want to get this embiggering thing is so we can make the slime as big as possible. So it splits off into as many little tiny slimes as possible. So, hmm, yeah, we should, oh, yeah, we should probably keep one pink slime inside of a, uh, inside of a safari net just in case we ever need it in the future. So, yeah, that's something. Okay, well, go to pause the recording real quick, do some more mining, and I guess I'll use the Man of Steel pick to get more by a like we just found out, so... I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back, and I just got done smelting some raw rubber, and now we have a rubber bar. Uh, I put some of the extra bitumen up. There it is right there. I put some of the extra bitumen up uh, inside of there rather than turning it into plastic or rubber or raw rubber or anything like that, just in case we need it in the future for something else. But there we go, empty syringe. Uh, I, I do wonder if we get an empty syringe after we use one on a slime or if it's like a one-time use type thing, you know? So let's get a bucket. 
There you go, bucket. Uh, yeah, just one bucket will be fine. And let's fill this bucket up with some pink slime. There you go, pink slime bucket. And we should be able to just go place this down anywhere, I think. It'll uh, spawn down a little pink. Oh wait, yeah, we need to fill this up with uh, embiggering stuff. We just have an empty syringe right now, so. Let's go, uh, there it is right there, embiggering syringe. Oh man, I forgot. I just used the last of my lapis. Hashtag, last of the lapis. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't have any more lapis lazuli. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go pause the recording again. Go mining. Go find some more lapis lazuli. And maybe go, uh, while I do that, you know, still touch the lapis. Maybe I'll go, uh, hopefully upgrade our thing if I find enough lapis. So, <laughs> I guess I'll pause the recording. Let me actually check that book. Is, is lapis found everywhere here? Or, like, more sp specifically in, like, certain places? So, uh, lapis, l there it is right there. Uh, yeah, Lapis is pretty much everywhere, uh, between height 0 and 32. Alright, well, go to pause the recording real quick. Man, look at all that stuff on my minimap. <laughs> and I'll see you guys here in a bit with some Lapis Lazuli. Alright guys, I'm back, and I found some Lapis Lazuli. Also found some iron and stuff, I'm just kind of smelting that right now, so I can hopefully get some more. How much do we have right now? 110 ingots of iron right now. Huh, not bad. Definitely need to get that out of there whenever I need more iron in the future, though. But right now, we have six things of, uh, Lapis Lazuli. I don't think we're going to get any more than nine per thing like we can out of the pulverizer though, so we're just going to need one for the embiggering thing, so let's just throw it inside of the pulverizer, and 315, yeah, we need well over 100 to get this thing maxed out, so I don't think we're going to uh, apply any lipis to this thing, so let's just grab this lipis and uh, throw it right there, there you go, and now we have an embiggering syringe, perfect, alright, how's this doing? And it's done. 27. God, that's so good, though. <laughs> I'm going to joke around. Anyways, uh, I, I already looked up the laser drill precharger thing. We pretty much have that, except for the, the pink slime crystal that's in the middle, which you just smelt a pink slime block. We're going to need nine pink slime balls. So hopefully, like I said earlier, hopefully the slime and bickering thing uh, gives us a syringe back once we use it. So <sighs> let's just place down a slime. And uh, wait, what? I thought, aren't we supposed to get a... Uh a little pink slime fellow? Or, uh, or what? <laughs> I was under the impression you place down the, the bucket and instead of water flowing like this, you get a little pink slime fellow. So what are the usages for this? I can put pink slime inside the blue transposer, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, pretty much nothing else. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you just place it down and you get yourself a little pink slime fellow. Okay, let me go somewhere that there isn't like a billion torches. There's like sludge or something right there, by the way. Let me just kind of teleport. There you go. Let's go over here. Oh, yeah, let's go over here, actually. Wait, what is that? I saw like a particle right there. <laughs> thought I saw something. Uh, looks like that goes, oh, that goes into a cave. Not bad. Anyways, let's just uh, place this down pretty much anywhere. And I wonder if this is kind of like, like, like a liquid that they spawn in. Instead of just spawning a, a pink slime. They should. Oh my god. It worked. Okay, it just took a little while for one to spawn down. Okay. But hey there, little guy. Oh, it does, it does give you the syringe back. Ooh. Ooh. Eh, let's get the, uh, do I have a, uh, safari net, safari net. Come on. Yes, we have safari nets. Okay. Let's put him inside. Is he inside? Yes, he is. Whew. Okay. Oh man, that's great. So uh, I think if I kill him right now, he'll split off into two smaller ones. But I want to go back. I want to make more embiggering syringes. I want to keep refilling it up. I, I only have one syringe right now, but I think I want to get some, uh, what do I need? I need lapis and two slime balls. That's all I need, I think. And then of course a crafting table. So I can actually, uh, crafting table. Yes, I have that. Let's get one, just one of those. Uh, what do I need? Lapis lazuli. There you go. Let's just grab those. Slime balls. We have 15 of those, and these are gelatinous slime, I think, also work. So let's go back over there. There we go. Okay. Place down a crafting table. Uh, where is it? Where is it? And bigger. Let's get the embiggering thing right here. And big ring. That way it will auto craft for us pretty easily. Wait, do I not have all the materials? I have that. I have the slime, but why is it not crafting automatically? There we go. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, let's just spawn them back down and make them as big as possible. Hopefully I don't waste any of these. Is that as big? No, I think it might be one more bigger. Okay. Let's try to make it one more bigger. Oh, no! Okay, okay, he explodes and then... Oh my god, what is that? Okay, so he got too big that he exploded. Raw meat nugget. 
<laughs> with me and coronation marks. Okay, so uh, I guess let's, let's, let's just do one more. Uh, one more. Come on. Come on. There we go. Invigorating syringe. And there we go. I think that's the biggest one then. Yeah, let's put him inside of there. And then we can kill these ones. There we go. Killed him. And he splits off into tiny little things. Remember, we're going to need nine of these slime balls. Oh, that one didn't drop one. Oh, there we go. There's one. Ooh, discovery of pink slime has unlocked more info in your materials book. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, how much pink slime are we getting? I think that one just dropped two. We might have to keep uh, growing this one that we have in a safari net, but yeah, we have seven slime balls right now. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's go fill up our invigorating syringe one more time. There you go. And let's do this. There you go. And then grow them to where he explodes like that. Nice. Okay, let's grab this fake meat. <laughs> and uh, there we go. Pink slime or uh, invigorating syringe. Let's make him as big as possible. Put him in the safari net. Yes. Okay. And then uh, I guess I could invigorating these ones too, right? Might as well, right? Uh, no, no use to keep them at this size, but I can have them be a little bit bigger. Ah, oh, there you go. And come on, don't hit me, don't hit me. And ba-boom. And then, uh, I, I guess I might as well. Nah, I don't want to use more of that lip this when I don't have to. So let's just split these off. Yes, there you go. And then ba-boom, ba-boom. Did that one just split off into three? I don't know if he did or not, but look at all these tiny little slime fellows. Yeah, we definitely have enough right now. Man, I'm excited for this this upcoming laser drill. I'll tell you that much. We should be able to make that pre-charger no problem now. We just have to, uh, to make a block of pink slime. I also got some comments saying I should use this pink slime to make like a crossbow or something like that. I don't remember what exactly you guys wanted me to do, but there you go, pink slime block. Just as you go through it inside of a uh, inside of a redstone furnace, uh, then I'll turn into a pink slime crystal or something stupid like that, <laughs> and then uh, we can use that for the precharger. So let's just go home, go through the inside of the furnace, and get this precharger recipe ready for the pink slime crystal. Uh, hey there, little guy. Uh, so let's just get one of these, just in case we need more pink slime in the future. There you go. Oh, wait, we already have the thing ready. Uh, I guess we can put the fake meat nugget right there. There's the pink slime crystal, and ba-boom. Laser Dritter Precharger. There you go. I think we might be able to plug this in with the, uh, the conduits right here that we already have. So, I guess we could pretty much just place it, like, right here. And then we need one space for the drill, so let's just dig all the way down here to Bedrock Lair, because this this laser drill needs to see Bedrock in order for it to work and, you know, extract different ores and stuff out of it. So let's just dig this down all the way to Bedrock. Hopefully, yeah, we've got a nice clear path all the way down. All right. I don't want to, like, go down to a cave or something, because if you get in the way of this drill, it does damage you. I think it lights you on fire. I don't know if it does, like, any... Oh, man. Okay, so this does do go into a cave, but it's only at the side of a cave, so it's not in, like, any decently important parts of a cave. Okay, so that's good. Hmm. Yeah, this might be a little bit of a problem, but once again, that's kind of in the side. Ooh! Look at that, we can get some, uh, Salus Mundus if we get some of that stuff and throw it inside of the pulverizer. But, uh, come on. Oh, yeah, we're at 16 right now. Okay. We're hitting some gravel right now. Should be able to just break this. I don't think it's really worth my time to switch over to, like, the excavator just to get rid of, like, two or three pieces of dirt like that, so... And come on, come on. Bedrock. Yes, yes, Bedrock. Okay, we found Bedrock. So we just need to place the laser drill right there. And then put the precharger next to the thing. And like I said, we need one space between the precharger and the actual drill. So, oh, whoops. I think I need to place the precharger like this, right? Like that. Like that? Yes, I think so. And yes, it has energy. Okay, perfect. So now I just need to grab the drill. There it is right there. Laser drill. There we go. And it should just start extracting random ores and stuff, I think. So I think what we can do is put a chest on the top, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but we have a lot of chests right now. I think just putting a chest on the top will work fine. I don't know if you need, like, a special, uh, special thing for it, but it's getting energy work. I might need, like, a special item duct for it, though. I might need to do a little bit of research, but remember, we do have this thing. What is it called again? By human this thing the utility focus uh increases the chance of getting a non-metal ore such as bink or <laughs> bink such as zinc man manganese and bitumen so let's put this here on this thing there you go and i guess that's just gonna work right or do i need like some sort of a thing i don't know if it's working right now or or what but it's got a lot of work inside of it it's getting a lot of energy how's this doing Oh yeah, that's sucking out a lot of energy, Hater. Oh wow. Oh jeez. 
Yeah, I don't know if this is <laughs> We might have to expand our uh, thing again if we want to get more energy for that thing. Because remember, we had 10 million energy. This is, this is completely empty. It's not sucking any energy out of these things just yet, though. Uh, still getting energy from somewhere, though. Maybe it's from this? Still making a uh, thousand flux per tick right there. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Do I have any item ducks? Item ducks? I don't think I do. Okay, well. Let's try and make an item duct right now. Uh, here we go. Just a, just the cheapest one. Yeah, there you go. Hardened glass, a little bit of tin. Okay. Let's see if we can make that right off the bat. There we go. And yes, there we go. Item duct. Okay. I don't know if this is necessary for it or if it genuinely hasn't mined a single thing just yet. But let's grab the chest. Let's put the item duct there. Uh, there we go. I don't know if that like burns it up or what. But uh, yes, that connects up. Perfect. And let's just put the chest right- oh, whoops. Let's just put the chest like right here so it's not decently convenient for us, right? Let's place that down like that, yes. Okay, so I don't know- I still don't know if it's actually mined anything just yet, but- uh, I don't know, it's hard to say. Does this need energy too, or- Because I- oh my god, I'm on fire. Oof, that's exactly what I said was gonna happen, so I'm not surprised. Oh man, let's go, let's go. Before I turn it to a toasty waffle. And, whew, there you go. I did see videos of people with uh, four pre-chargers, so we may need to get more. With one pre-charger, it's probably going to take a long, long, long time before we actually get one thing out of it, so... Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. So I actually have a lot of energy here. Oh no, it's actually eating up the... No, no, no. Yeah, we still have a lot of energy here, so... Uh, to keep up the ME terminal and all the furnaces, so I think we're fine on that front. But for right now, with the laser drill, I think either we keep it right now, as is, where it uh, mines probably one or every billion years, or we add two, three more pre-chargers. That way it has a, a better likelihood of getting uh, ores and stuff out of it. So I think that's definitely something we should consider here for uh, future episodes. So to get another pre-charger thing, we're going to need more plastic and more of those slime things. So that shouldn't be too hard to make, I don't think. But we're also going to need... A billion things. Oh, we're gonna need like we're also gonna need like way more energy. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to expand this uh, big reactor to be even bigger. So we have the laser drill working right now. The only thing we have going for it though is that we're gonna have it working in the background uh, as we do like other stuff. So hopefully we can actually get. Uh, wait, what is the main? Oh, I completely forgot the main reason why we got all this by Tumen. It's because we needed this rancher thing, right? Uh, let's see, engineer, rancher thing, <laughs> and then we make that, and I remember the reason why we got the drill was to get more bitumen, but we already have a lot of bitumen right now, so the only purpose of the drill is to get a lot of random ores over time, so, uh, <laughs> let's see if we can get the rancher. Do we have enough to make the rancher right now? No, we do not. We don't have enough plastic. Well, we could get some plastic right now. Uh, plastic pipe, yeah, that requires more plastic. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, so... Yeah, we do need a pretty good amount of plastic to get this thing going, so... I don't know, maybe I'll just go AFK or something and see if we'll get uh, some more stuff over time, or... Maybe I'll make more pre-chargers for it, I don't know. But, uh, right now, kinda wanna get the, uh... This... This one right here, the luck pickaxe. See how much we can get from this, how much is this? One, two... Twelve of this? Is that twelve? I guess it is twelve. So we have twelve here. If we get more than 24, then whew, this thing is definitely worth it, so let's just break all these in this 3x4 area. And we have one in our inventory right now. I don't think that was already there, so... Ooh. Ooh, a little bit sour on the luck right there. We got only 22. We were missing two. Ooh. Okay, not bad. Not the end of the world. We can make a little bit of rubber out of that. Yeah, there you go. We're going to smell this. Get ourselves some plastic. And uh, hopefully make that richer. So I'm going to do a little bit more progress. Probably I'm probably going to make more pre-chargers or even upgrade this thing, uh, this reactor as well. So yeah, yeah, okay. Still no ores just yet, and I think it gives you ores at random. But now that we have the focus thing, it's probably going to give us more by two minutes stuff. So mm, I don't know. Anyways, I guess uh, I guess this is going to be done now uh, for this episode. We've got a lot of stuff done this episode. Found some by two and made the laser drill, made the pre-charger, found some slimes or spawned in the slimes. 
and a bunch of other stuff, so I think it's a good place to leave off. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as I come out so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I will see you guys here next time with some more ba 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 blightfall where hopefully we can make this rancher thing and uh, send that into the engineer and get those missions nice and done. And hopefully I can find some more, uh, oh, skill, oh, god, I saw you at the last second there, skilla fella. Oh, you get out of here, you skeleton trash. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, we're, oh, man, we're really low on mana. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes, okay. Whew, hopefully we can spawn in some more mana, oh, whoa, let's get these things. Well, let's get those things focused on the actual mana thing, let's put a skull in there just for now. But, uh, binding mode, yes, binding mode. Let's come on, do that, there we go, that. That, that, I think that also goes there. And then yes, this one goes here. This one goes here, there we go. This one's completely full, so there's no purpose for that one to be there. Oof, anyways, hopefully the portal is still gonna be open. We should have enough mana to keep it open, but uh, anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I will see you guys here next time. Oh my God, that arrow is directly in my mouth. <laughs> oh, by there. Oh wait, no, where is that? It's like moving whenever I'm- it must be like on my shoulder or something. <laughs> oh, bye there. Oh.